Corona virus brought our lives to a standstill, changing the way we interact with our world. Wildlife was no exception. While we saw heartfelt videos of wildlife thriving and returning to urban areas, data revealed a troubling truth. Traffic, the Wildlife Trade Monitoring Network, reported a 151% increase in poaching following the lockdown in India. COVID-19 is not a break for nature. Pandemic hit very, very suddenly. For us in conservation, we rely on park fees and tourist visitors to pay those park fees. And our revenue dropped by 95% overnight. COVID-19 most probably started in Wuhan from the very, very endangered pangolin, which is being illegally traded. We should take this lesson of the pandemic to stop illegal trade and illegal exploitation of wildlife. Constantly rising global demand has increased pressure on our natural resources to the point where we are utilizing these resources faster than nature can replenish them. Encroachment, habitat loss, escalating poaching and wildlife trade are bringing humans and wildlife into contact at greater frequencies, posing a serious threat to both. The time to act is now. Nature needs us more than ever before. At the forefront of this fight are our dedicated heroes of conservation. The Habitats Trust Grants was established in 2018 to recognize and support organizations and individuals who are working on ground to secure India's threatened natural habitats and species of flora and fauna. Since its inception, each year, the grants have reached out to and supported grassroots conservation efforts across the far corners of the country. More than ever, our relationship with the natural world and its species has truly been tested this year. It's time for us to be more gentle, allow nature to heal. As we work from home, there's a book you can buy on Amazon called There Is No Planet B by Mike Berners-Lee. While you can buy the book, unfortunately, at the click of a button, you cannot order another planet. It's time for us to be a lot more sustainable and reflect on how we want to treat the natural world going forward. For most of us, the pandemic meant an opportunity to slow down our lives, bake some banana bread, and learn some yoga. For millions, it meant deprivation, loss of livelihoods, and hunger. I hope a post-pandemic world does not mean business as usual. I hope a post-pandemic world is an opportunity for all of us to reset our lives and our relationship with nature. Now in its third edition, the Habitats Trust Grants is proud to announce its four recipients for 2020. Recipient of the Strategic Partnership Grant, the Corbett Foundation. Recipient of the Lesser Known Habitats Grant, Seeds Trust, recipient of the Lesser Known Species Grant, Bat Conservation India Trust, recipient of the Conservation Hero Grant, M. Suraj. We welcome these passionate conservationists to our network of partners working across India towards a common cause of securing a future for our planet. We are the guardians of this planet. Part of one world. Part of one ecosystem. Today, this planet needs us. Nature needs us. You and I together can be the difference.